over the centuries, you might think that artists have lived pampered lives. Comfy sitting rooms, pretty meadows, and the occasional animal. But for some great artists, it was very different. Danger was their driving force. This is William Turner, the Red Bull extreme artist of his time, lashing himself to the mast of a boat during dangerous storms just to see the storm itself. For him, a photo wasn't enough. He had to see with his own eyes, feel the cold wind and snow hitting his face. He was searching for that rare dose of inspiration that made his artwork feel more than just an image. Before Sky News came along, artists were sent to the front line to capture the battle in all its fury. John Singer Sargent was one of them, having bullets flying over his head bombs, death and the aftermath of gas attacks. He came home to the studio with hundreds of sketches and colour studies to make this unforgettable painting. Rembrandt, Leonardo da Vinci and many others used this method. Some say there's no need to go extreme. Others politely disagree. This show is about young professional artists who still make art this way. In the extreme. This show is about the artist's journey. While they endure and capture the extreme for their exhibition at the end of the series. To give you a feel of their plan, they headed to Spain, home of pretty farmland and amazing architecture. But they didn't want to go the safe route. They camped on the peak of a sand dune in the middle of nowhere, in the windiest season Spain's seen for 10 years. And today, started at 4.30 a.m. We've been here in the sand for five days now. <laughs> Today we're going to paint the sunrise. You have to be quick, think fast, paint fast and get it all down because the sun isn't going to wait for anybody. The wind is lifting up my easel. You just have to improvise. Wait, wait. Seeing what I'm doing? Yep. At the beginning, you pick out a simple shape, break something down which is really confusing into something which is really simple. As they stood quickly sketching, battling the powerful winds, the lack of sleep started to take its toll. <laughs> Why does being an artist satisfy you? Not now. <laughs> what makes you persevere when painting are going badly? <laughs> I don't know. Just... This is Lewis, Lisette, George, Max, and Mark. They are highly skilled contemporary artists who yearn to capture the extreme. But this was just a beach, and this was just Spain. Together, they've experienced a lot done a lot, seen a lot, and with your help, it's time to take it to the next level. Next, capturing Canada's incredible immersive landscape while sculpting grizzly bears filling their bellies with freshly caught fish, living under a mud hut to paint portraits of the native tribesmen, and sculpting the silverback gorilla in the mountainous African rainforests, or sketching on a wet rusty ship living alongside the inspiring lives of a hardened Icelandic fishing crew as they fight through the stormy seas. Or even creating art in a war zone. Art like you've never seen it before. Art in the extreme.